Aries. This will happen in the next 48 hours for May the 21st through May the 22nd, 2024. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for May the 21st through May the 22nd, 2024. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for May the 21st through May the 22nd, 2024. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for May the 21st through May the 22nd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. Could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Aries. Clarified temperance for Aries. Clarified temperance. Aries. It is clarified with the Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Aries, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Now Aries, regardless whether or not you are hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party, I feel like you're just wanting to heal individually on your own because of it. Aries, you have the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Aries, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Clarify the Ace of Cups by Aries. Clarify the Ace of Cups by Aries. Clarify the Ace of Cups by Aries. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Aries, listen. You could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Aries. Clarify judgment. For Aries, clarify judgment. For Aries, it is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. 
So Aries, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitments. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with temperance again. So like I said, you can tell me that you just need to heal individually on your own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance for Aries. Clarify temperance for Aries. Clarify temperance for Aries. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy, so Aries, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Hey, Aries, I want to know if you felt hurt or disappointed because it was a lack of compromise and negotiations. But you end up getting some type of judgment here, some type of blessing and abundance here, Aries. I don't know if you just had to be patient. Was your patience just wearing thin or something? Aries, you could also tell me that, you know, someone's asking for forgiveness and a second chance, wanting to heal this and start new and maybe start a whole new era in love here. But you're having to make a judgment call or decision on whether or not you want to. I don't know if you're still hurt or you still need to heal or what. We'll see. We have the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Aries, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone and my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Aries, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Hmm. Now Aries, you can tell me that you're becoming single, coming up out of some type of commitment and ending things here. Or, I don't know, you may make a judgment call that maybe I no longer want to be single and you guys are actually working things out here and starting new or starting over. Aries, you have the seven of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Aries, you can tell me that you're standoff is shunning and setting boundaries here, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Seven of Wands. For Aries. Clarify the seven of wands. For Aries. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. 
So Aries, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now, Aries, you can tell me that your standoff is shunning, setting boundaries, and breaking up with this person. Maybe you don't even want to forgive them and give them a second chance here. Could also be breaking up with them because you found that they had new love, and this is why things are ending here. They still could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance, and you're like, it's a no-go, okay? I don't know if you're in a position where you feel like you have to explain why you want to break up with someone. I don't know if you have to explain it to family or friends or just this person. Hmm. Aries, you have the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Aries, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords by Aries. Clarify the Six of Swords by Aries. Clarify the Six of Swords by Aries. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in an institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with, or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles by Aries. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles by Aries. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles by Aries. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death by Aries. Clarify death by Aries. Clarify death by Aries. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately. Rushing in with the spark of a new idea. Rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that there is a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands by Aries. Clarify the Knight of Wands by Aries. Clarify the Knight of Wands by Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you saying, I, you have your guard up. You don't trust. You're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now, Aries, you guys could have had some type of heated discussion or argument, some type of rushing and going off, going hand passionate with a heated discussion. And you're saying, I'm standing my ground. I'm standing by what I say. And you're leaving the situation. You're ending it and leaving. 
Aries, you can tell me that they were out being a player. This is why you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You feel like they had a third party here. And you're ending things and you're moving out, moving on, moving away from the relationship. Because I see you saying, you know, that it may be ending because they had new love. That you're wanting to become single. That you're standing by the fact that you just want to break up. You have your guard up and you're moving away from the relationship. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Aries. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I hope it's not too late when I come back. I hope it's not too late when I come back, Aries. <laughs> I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Aries. And it says, we need to let each other go. We need to let each other go. So somebody wants to let go and someone wants to come back at a later date and time, okay? Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for May the 21st through May the 22nd, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.